Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create background text for sections of your Squarespace 7.1 website. That's right, it's going to be text that goes behind all of the content that happens to be in that section, from images to text to buttons, anything you could possibly have in a section, we're gonna be putting the text behind it, creating a really unique design effect. Now we're doing all of this using custom CSS, and the codes for my demo today are listed in the description beneath this video. But before you copy and paste those into your own site, I would love to show you how they work on my demo site here so you understand exactly what to change to make it look amazing on your own website. Okay, awesome. Let's hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site, and I'm gonna scroll down here. You'll see I have a section with just an image, then some text and more paragraph text on this one, and underneath all of that is the code we're going to be using. So I'm just gonna grab this right here, I'm gonna copy it, and then we're gonna scroll up and I'll hop over to design and then down to custom CSS. This is where we'll be pasting the code. I'm just gonna press control V on my keyboard and check it out. We have the word suite at the very bottom left of each one of those sections. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. Let's say I wanna change the word to awesome. Instead of sweet, I'll say A-W-E-S-O-M-E. -E. Awesome, and now it's gonna take up that whole space right there. You'll notice it's behind the image, it's behind the text, all of that fun stuff. Now, what if I just want this word to be on the second section of my page? At the very beginning, after it says page-section, the very beginning of this code, I'm going to say colon nth child two, and then close that parentheses. That's me saying, make this happen only on the second section of my website. So you'll see the first section is fine, second section is awesome, third section is fine. Now, there's other stuff we're gonna change here. Position absolute, that's important. We need to keep that there so it stays aligned with the content of our site, okay? Now I have it set to bottom zero, left zero, and then I reduce the margin on the bottom as well by negative 10%. I think that looks great for that slightly cut off effect that I was going for. You can remove that line if you want to, scoot it up closer to the center. You can change that to negative 15% if you wanted it really scooted down. 10 was perfect for the font size that I was using. So speaking of font size, I've got that set to 300. What if we change that to 200? There we go, now it's even smaller and I'll adjust that bottom margin to, let's say negative 5%. There we go. Now it's a little bit closer to the edge. I also have this set to left zero. If you want it to go to the other side of the section, you can just change that to right, and it'll scoot it over to the other side, okay? So I changed the word left to right to change which side of the page it's aligning with. Now there's one other important thing we need to talk about here. The very last part of this code has a media query to change this on mobile. What I wanted to do was change the font size on mobile. I'll show you, if we remove this line right here and we'll hop into the mobile preview of our site, you'll see the word is behind the picture, I can't even see anything. Now we'll paste that code back here and let's change that font size down to, how about just one REM? And for the margin bottom, I will go ahead and act exclamation point important to that so it definitely resizes it. There we go. And now we can see, wait a second, that's way too tiny. Let's knock that up to three REM. How about that instead? A little bit better. Now the margin bottom, I had it negative five for my mobile device here. I'm gonna change that to, let's say negative 50. That scoots it a lot closer to the bottom center of the page. So you can definitely play around with the font sizes here if you want it to be way bigger or way smaller, whatever you're comfortable with. This is going to affect just the mobile version. You'll notice our desktop still stays exactly the same. So let's review this one more time. Just in case you wanna move this to a different section, let's play around with page section three, okay? The only thing I'm gonna change is moving up here, I'm gonna change this to a three, okay? So now it says page, page section, nth child, three. And that means the third section on my page. So not the first, not the second, but the third, and it's down there at the bottom. So we can also, again, adjust the, the font size here. Let's make it 300 PX down there at the bottom. Now it's gonna be really big. We can also adjust the opacity if we want it to be a little thicker, maybe point, uh, 0.5, so it's even more visible. Definitely interact with the text there, so use your own designer skills to make that look exactly the way that you want it to. But I do want to mention, as soon as we hop back to mobile, we're going to want to play around with this part of the code here. 
maybe make it a bottom margin of just 5px so it scoots up a little bit more maybe change the font size up to 5 rem whatever you're comfortable with just adjust this aspect the last two lines there of the mobile media query to make mobile specific look a little bit different than desktop that's really important Alrighty, so that's it for this tutorial. Again, the codes I used today are listed in the description below, and I also added a little checklist for you so you know exactly what parts to pay attention to and change when you use this on your own website. Okay? Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.